Justin Bell is one of the most renowned professional racing drivers, a world champion and winner at Le Mans. After 24 hours of heart-pounding, ear-splitting, high-speed chaos, I need a bit of calm and composure in my life. The cars I drive professionally, you see, are loud and brutish. Thank you. They have to be. But off-track, my automotive preferences are a little bit different. Off-track, I require a quiet, luxurious cabin experience, sophisticated styling, and of course, a smooth, comfortable ride. But I also want a car that responds to my every command with the ability and precision of a finely tuned athlete. Is it possible to find both these attributes in the same automobile? That's what I'm here to find out. You're looking at perhaps two of the finest luxury sports sedans in the world. The 2018 Lexus LSF Sport, completely new from the ground up. It promises to put the luxury world on notice. And the Mercedes-Benz S560 AMG line, also new for 2018. It has a 463 horsepower V8 and all of that engineering sophistication that Mercedes-Benz can bring to bear. Now let's meet Guy Mongemelli, who is director of AMCI testing. Now, Guy, I know that AMCI really do pride themselves on the level playing field they establish between all vehicle comparisons. You spent quite a bit of time testing both these magnificent machines behind us. Which one came out on top? Well, you're right, Justin. We have spent the last two weeks scientifically testing the Lexus and the Mercedes. But I think before I give you those results, you should drive these cars for yourself, performing the same tests we conducted, and then we can match your expert analysis with our scientific conclusions. Sounds like a great plan. Where do we begin? Let's take a look at the tests we conducted to evaluate performance and handling. We tested how the vehicles handled evasive maneuvers, the slalom, the 180 degree corner, and braking. All the tests were performed on both dry and wet pavement. Definitely the Lexus has an athleticism that makes it feel like a smaller car than it really is. Tons of confidence as the weight shifts through here due to its dynamic rear steer and stability control. Definitely can feel a slightly more restrictive traction control through the corner there. Drives more like a larger, heavier car, even though it's actually lighter than the Lexus. One thing I'm looking for is the Lexus all-wheel steer, which really does allow for this very aggressive driving style with absolutely or very little threat of any oversteer in the car breaking away. Even at its limits, the electronics provide judicious use of the throttle. I've got to say I'm very impressed with the Mercedes sophisticated and very silent stability control, but it actually does intervene, has a lot more intervention, more restrictive than the Lexus, and doesn't really give the driver as much access to throttle input to balance the car. Definitely a little more tendency towards understeer. Wow, the Lexus really does grip very hard, even on a wet surface. Mid-corner speed is very high, very neutral handling, only minimal stability control interference with lots of throttle available, even at the limit. Wow, I've actually had to moderate my entry speed in the Mercedes, a tendency towards understeer coming through here. Slightly more body roll for sure, but it just misses that fine sense of responsiveness that I kind of felt in the Lexus. Stabilizer, 80 miles an hour. Braking really is one of the most real world exercises you can ever put a car through, so wow. Boom! Very immediate pedal response for sure. Strong braking, very stable. And again at 80, settle down and boom, brake. A bit more gentlemanly in pedal field, but the braking action itself is very strong. Felt like it stopped a bit longer. I definitely think we're gonna to have to wait for the data on this one, guys. You know what, Guy? It's not just fun, it's also really educational. I find it utterly amazing that my real life, 
obviously professional based driving experiences so closely match how you guys arrive at your scientific evaluations. Amazing, how do you do it? Our numbers tell a story. They indicate how an automobile is designed, engineered, and manufactured, and how that incredible craftsmanship translates into a visceral feel for the driver behind the wheel. I mean, obviously, two fantastic cars, but when it comes to the buyer, go with your heart. Also, look at the data, right? Because it might just give you more options.